Hi guys, as you probably know, we had a stand at Comic-Con in Sydney where we showcased our products. We had them running on 3D printers and wanted to show people who had never seen this technology what was possible. We not only had the very talented Chris Bannerman on the stand showing off his 3D printed cosplay props and costumes, but another different type of talent joined us too, Sterling Osmond. Sterling does something that I'd never seen or heard of before, and when I saw it for the first time, I was absolutely blown away. Rather than the traditional method of sitting down at a computer and designing models in 3D programs like Blender or ZBrush, he uses an Oculus Rift and software called Medium to create his models in virtual reality. To say I'm impressed at his skills would be a massive understatement. On today's episode of Pro Tips, we're going to learn all about this method of modelling because the extremely talented artist, sculptor, 3D model maker and brand new Monocure 3D ambassador joins us now. Sterling, welcome. So, tell us, how did you get into this? Well, I, I'm a self-taught artist uh, in 3D and visual effects, and I started a, a small company called Framework VFX, and I've just been doing basis 3D for the, for the last 12 years, mm -hmm. and only in the last three years is I've been using uh, virtual reality. Okay. And I, I, I looked it up, I looked into it for a little bit, and then I just jumped straight into it. I, I, I spent the money on the early version, which was the CV1, and now this is the Rift S, and it's just unbelievable. It's, it's like having complete freedom and creating anything you want in a, in, a, in a free studio space. That's really what it does. It opens up a, a new, kind of like a new world. Wow. So, Sterling, tell us a bit more about this system. Can, is this something that people can just go out and buy? Yeah, absolutely. The, the, the Rift S is, um, is about $600 Australian, and you can just buy it off the Oculus store. Uh, that's good for warranties and things like that. Yeah. And also uh, what comes with it is Oculus Medium and also Quill, which is a 2D uh, sketching uh, VR app. So, okay, yeah. so Medium is the software that you'll sculpt in? Yeah, it's a, it's a 3D uh, a VR sculpting app um, created by the Oculus Medium team. Mm -hmm. And it's absolutely you know, amazing. It has stamps and it has all these different types of techniques that are completely different to, to normal, as you'd say, 2D, 3D uh, creation. Yeah. Sure. So Sterling, tell us about the equipment that you need. What have we got here? So this is an Oculus Rift S, and this comes with uh, two touch controllers and five uh, cameras that are tracking the controllers. Uh, this is called inside-out tracking, and it's just you know absolutely amazing. It's it's 80 frames a second. It's completely real time. Wow. And yeah. So so what do you actually see when you put this on? What can you see inside? So with the with the Oculus Rift optics, uh, it's a stereoscopic 3D image yep. that's being projected at 80 frames a second. And wow. also, it's like stepping into a new world, a, a whole new environment. Virtual reality. Yeah, virtual reality. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. Absolutely, it, it's pretty liberating to, yeah. to experience it. Yeah. Okay, great. What about motion sickness? I know that I've used v, you know, VR headsets in the past and I've you know, felt a bit dizzy afterwards. Yeah. Do, what's the go with these? Do people experience that with this? Or? Well, with creative apps like Medium and Quill and Gravity Sketch and things like that, th these apps don't give you motion sickness. You're, you're really enjoyable, really comfortable, and you get to be able to do whatever you want, you know, create whatever you like. Yeah, yeah great. So Sterling, I think the, the best thing to do is to show the audience how this all works, is you run through what you created at Comic-Con and yeah, just talk us through the process and, and, and how yeah, you did sure. it. Yeah. So with this piece here, I created this at Comic-Con in Sydney and it was really just a free sculpt or a freestyle sculpt and it was something that I was just you know, enjoying creating while I was talking to people there. It was really, really cool. A lot of uh, people had, uh, were very excited to see this technology and, and this type of, of create creativity so so tell us what you're doing here now so you've got the the touch controllers in your hands and they're, yeah, so they're this is the left hand and the right hand touch controller and basically pulling i'm scaling the model up and scaling the model down in perspective so i can actually sit you know on the tooth of the of the creature and sculpt inside the mouth or i can make the creature really small and and make it look a little bit like a mini or uh, and really explore the whole design as, however i want yeah. So explain what you're doing at this point here. Yeah, so at this point here I'm just like basically showing a turnaround of, of what, what the character looks like, giving multiple perspectives of... Uh, and what, what, tool, what tools are you using? Uh, so th basically this is the, the move tool and the clay tool, uh, just drawing out the surfaces and, and moving them into place uh, 
So what are the different tools or that you have access to? There's the tool yeah. device so the tool there. Palette on the left hand, it has uh, basically the, the move tool is like a revolutionary tool for for I mean VR's revolutionary anyway, but then the move tool was this kind of like a it was it was absolutely amazing because Medium existed before the move tool as as a really great app to use, but it didn't have that dynamic movement where you could grab a surface and move it wherever you felt. Yeah. And once that was implemented, it really opened up a huge amount of uh, creative, creative flow and creative um, movement. So with all of these surfaces here, I'm just actually grabbing them and moving them into place however I feel in space. All right. Yeah. And how long did this model take you to create? Uh, it, took about, uh, it took about an hour, hour and a half, two hours, mm -hmm. yeah. And you, and you didn't do it all at once from memory, you did it you know, pieces at a time, is that right? Yeah, I did a couple of pieces at a time. I, I think a lady asked me like, what I was doing and, and I said, oh, I can do this. And then when I, when I said I can do this, I changed it to, to a very different design, sure. which, was, which was quite interesting because Medium allows you to create something and then change it really quickly and right. keep going through different iterations of design or ide ideations. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so obviously the end game is to be able to 3D print this. Absolutely, yeah. And what Medium does is it, it creates a watertight mesh and that's really the basic part of, oh, the, the best part of Medium. Mm. It creates a watertight mesh. It's, it's, it, these are voxels and when it gets exported, it gets exported as polygons yeah. and those things are easy to print. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, and so a watertight mesh means that there's no holes anywhere, it doesn't need exactly. to be repaired, and exactly. it's just going to print okay. Absolutely. So you need a fair few supports on something like this? Uh, yes, well, yes and no. This piece I, I was considering while I was creating it to be uh, have minimal supports. Mm. Which is really important when you're designing, isn't it? Yeah, and his hands, are, uh, his, his tentacles are sort of placed on the ground, and so is his... Oh, okay, so they would act like supports. Exactly, so, so this, this could actually print quite... Uh, quite successfully, uh, except for these mandibles here would need tips and some of uh, uh, you know, the islands that are floating in there. But m mainly most of it is pretty clean. Mm. And this would be done with resin, of course. I mean, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'd love to, love to print it in resin. resin yeah. Yeah. And you haven't printed this one yet? Not yet, no. Oh, yeah, okay, no. we'll have to get yeah. you some monocure resin. Um, yeah, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. So Sterling, talk us through this Crystal Tiger you created. So this was created for the Medium Demo and yes. for Comic-Con. And for Comic-Con, yeah. And so it was all done using this system? Absolutely. Wow. Yes. And then, how did you finish it? Well, look. Basically, it's a it's a five part print uh, using my frozen Excel, yeah. and this was all created in in Oculus Medium and ZBrush. A little bit of ZBrush. Uh, it's a really really cool piece. I, I just wanted to capture the, the the haunch and the stance of of a creature. And the best part is that Medium allowed me to get into the teeth and really, really sculpt the teeth how I wanted it. Mm -hmm. And especially like this tongue here, which, which printed really fine tongue. And it allowed me to you know, sculpt, the, sculpt the claws and the finer details. Okay, so how long did this take? Uh, this, piece was, this piece was about maybe three, four hours, which is still in a way 10% of the time you'd spend normally yeah, okay. in a traditional 2D, 3D art. Oh, that's interesting. So it's a lot quicker. It is a lot quicker, yes. Yeah. It allows you to jump in there really quickly and, and express and create. And how close is it to actual sculpting? It, it is very much like practical sculpting. Okay. That's, that's probably the other, the other thing that people don't realise is you, can, you, you physically can get close to the surface and, and sculpt the surface. And, and, uh, and the best part is you, you get to meet what you create first yeah. and then printing it is also a very f strange phenomenon which you've created something, you've met it in its presence and then you've created and yeah. printed it and then it's back in your presence. presence yeah. And then you get to <laughs> paint it and then really yes. bring it to life. That's right. So talk yes. us through that process. Well that, that was one of the big parts of using medium was I got to create something in medium and then paint it in medium and get a feel for how I wanted the, okay. the colour design and, and the layout. Well, that's a huge advantage, isn't it? You could that's actually massive. airbrush yes. in medium and Absolutely. then decide actually, no, that would look better green or, yeah. Exactly, yeah. And that's what medium's paint tools are just, just like using an airbrush or just like using a brush. Wow. Yeah, that's huge. You to, but you can also paint under the surface out. 
you know, or, or go right into a detail and make sure it's pinpoint. Yeah. So could you get another STL um, and import it into Medium and Absolutely. then airbrush it? Yeah. Absolutely, yes. Oh, great. Yeah. You could even bring an, uh, two STLs in mm. and join them together. Great. Wow. Yeah. So that'd I say think it, it, Medium imports as OBJ and FBX. Okay. I'm not sure about STL. Okay. So that would, could potentially save someone a lot of airbrushing paint because I know I've done a little bit yeah. of airbrushing in the past and you make a mistake where well, you just sort of start over. Absolutely, yeah. But yeah. With, with, I guess with, uh, in, in uh, VR, it doesn't matter. You know, it's, it, um, it doesn't, no. It, it just allows you to you know, be free and, and test and have fun. So I hope that's inspired you to go out and start modelling in VR. I know I'm very keen to get one of these. It looks like a lot of fun. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, but most importantly, remember to keep on 3D printing.